Let's begin by importing the head component from Next.js. This component allows us to modify the less than head greater than section of our pages, which is crucial for including meta tags, styles, and, as in this case, dynamically loading fonts. Here we define a functional component called home, which is our page component in Next.js. We start the return statement with a div element. This is the primary container for the content of our home component. Inside the div, we place the head component. This is where we will insert elements that we want to include in the head of the page. We use a link tag with the rel attribute set to preload. This tells the browser to load the specified font file early in the page load process, as it is likely to be used. The href attribute points to the location of the font file, and we denote the type of this resource as a WAF2 font. The cross-origin attribute set to anonymous is important for cores-enabled font loading. Next, we include a style tag with an at-font-face rule within it. This defines a custom font named custom font and specifies the path to the font file. We also set the font weight and font style properties. The font display property is set to swap, which will ensure that text is shown with a fallback font while custom font is loading, minimizing the perceived loading time for the user. After setting up the font loading, we close the head component. Through these elements, we instruct the browser on how to load and use the custom font on our page. In a real-world example, you would have the rest of your home component content here. The closing div, parentheses, and brackets signify the end of our component's return statement and the end of the home component itself.